Hey, you know her as Winnie Cooper from the hit TV series, The Wonder Years. Dana McKellar is also a math wizard and has written 11 books to show kids learning math is both easy and fun. Her newest book, Double Puppy Trouble, teaches four to seven year olds how to double numbers. Danica joins us to discuss. Danica, what's happening? Hello, how are you? Wow, you, you have not aged at all. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at <laughs> Winnie you, Cooper, I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow, so uh, tell us about the book. What, what, what gave you the, the inspiration for this? Yes, so as you may be familiar with, I write math books in addition to being an actress. I love math and I love making math accessible and fun for kids. There's a lot of math anxiety these days, especially post pandemic. A lot of kids got behind um, with classes not being in session and all the rest of it. I'm here to help. So I've got books ages zero to 16, all the way through high school geometry at mckellarmath.com. You can use a slider button to see which book is the most helpful. I also have picture books like this one, Double Puppy Trouble, that is really just a fun book uh, to read with your kids that sneaks in a little math, much like putting ground up vegetables into brownies. So this book is a story about a little girl who finds a stick that doubles things. It's a magical stick, but when she goes to double her puppy, the button gets stuck and the puppies keep doubling and doubling, teaching doubling. So two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. It's like 101 Dalmatians meets Fantasia with a little bit of math. So it's a really fun book that ultimately teaches a story um, of, of less is more <laughs> and gratitude along with sibling teamwork. So there's a lot of emotional intelligence in, wrapped up in it. Uh, it's just a really fun book. I love reading to my son. He's 11. We still read together sometimes. I feel like it's the best bonding experience you can have, especially as a homeschooling mom, but just for any moms or dads. I, was, so I wanted I to ask you, Danica. To people where they can teach their kids a little math at the same time. I wanted to ask you, Danica, you know, um, do you not believe in the education system? Why are you homeschooling? Oh gosh, so many reasons. I travel a lot for work. Um, Draco's dad travels a lot for work. I love math so much and I, and I have very specific ideas about how I think it ought to be taught. And I know I'd be my son's uh, t math teacher's worst nightmare, but mostly it's about the travel and wanting to spend time um, with him and not have, you know, so much separation. You, you know, it's great. I've been thinking about that as well because, you know, like during, like I, I suffer from real bad parental paranoia because, you know, when you send your kids off to school, you're always thinking about the worst, you know, case scenario that could happen yeah. to them. And, you know, now yeah. with all of these tragic school shootings that are happening around the country, I've been thinking about the same thing. Like, is the safest place for our kids to be at home, being homeschooled? Because during COVID, man, my anxiety was down to like a zero because we were all under the same roof. I didn't have to worry about where the kids were. Like that was a beautiful feeling. Yeah, well, look, there a lot of people have, you know, their reasons for homeschooling. There are tons of potential reasons. I see a lot of reasons to do it. You know, of course, it can be a challenge at home when you're busy as well, but I love it myself. It works for us great. I never made a plan to homeschool all the time. Uh, I just thought, well, you know, let's do it for a few years, see how it goes. And uh, Draco's dad and I both, really enjoy doing that with him, spending that time, and it's worked out so far. And he's actually been my test subject for a lot of my math books. In fact, uh, when I was writing The Times Machine, my book before this one that came out a couple years ago, that teaches multiplication and division. And I was literally teaching him multiplication and division while writing the book. And so a lot of the, like there's a cowboy kitty character in it, and that's directly comes from um, when I was teaching him and we we're doing two digit multiplication, I was like, okay, now you look, you're a lasso of this number, and you're a little lasso of that number. And, and it's, it's, it's been a really fun synergy of homeschooling and writing math books. I, I know you talk a lot about your son, but also um, young girls and math, you know, yes. are they still not being kind of nurtured the way they need to with math? You know, it all depends on the teacher they get. It's really hit or miss. Um, I think there are a lot of people out there who understand there have been a lot of biases against, you know, girls in math. Uh, but certainly the reason I started writing math books 15 years ago with my first book, Math Doesn't Suck, uh, middle school girls, that's who I was targeting because I realized, okay, this is the time when girls to start to shy away from math. And it's not that their, their grades go down, it's their confidence goes down because of these biases, societal biases, and they're all around that tell girls that their value truly comes mostly from their appearance. And it's, it, we tell little girls, oh, you're so cute, look at that little dress, oh, you're adorable, you're so beautiful. We tell little boys, yeah, sure, you're cute, but also look at how strong you are, hey, you know, hey, little man, hey, chief. And so <laughs> these, you know, girls don't grow up thinking that their brain is their is their most valuable asset. And I really want to help girls to embrace their smarts. Don't think of yourself as having to choose between being the cute, popular, dumb girl and the smart outcast. No, 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 no. 
that's why my books with the middle school and high school, I've got like glamorous photos of myself on the cover. And like, I was also some fun advice in there, life advice, because I want girls to say, hey, I can be whoever I want to be. I can dress up if I want and be smart and I don't have to be pigeonholed. I can, I can do it all if I want and I can be whoever I am destined to be. And getting good at math, and you can get good at math. You're not stuck at one math level. Um, that is the key to building that confidence that comes from feeling smart. And that's why I love presenting these tools to kids um, to get that confidence in case they don't have a supportive teacher. Amazing. And even, but math anxiety hits boys too. It's that's hitting right. everybody. And that's why I love starting young uh, with a book like Double Puppy Trouble. Let's get these happy associations with big numbers. What's more friendly, inviting, and approachable than puppies? What a great way so to cute. introduce our kids that's to right. big numbers. And I can't wait till she makes an adult children's book for parents like me who deal with the anxiety of getting their ass kicked by this new math that our young kids <laughs> I are have, learning I have in school. the Times Machine. Do not open this math book and the Times Machine. Um, those are both uh, elementary school books. And in the back, I have a new math translation guide for grownups in both for those us. books. All right, Dan, got you covered. Hey, listen, are you going to act it at all or are you just going to continue doing math books? Oh, I've been acting. I've been doing um, movies uh, for Hallmark Channel for a while, and now I'm doing movies for a new channel called Great American Family. Um, I was on Domino Masters earlier this year. Good. I love I love having this sort of multidimensional career, and I'm very, very grateful for it. Plus, being on TV helps parents to find out about these books, and then they can help their kids You're right. more. Thank you, Danica. Thank you for joining us. That was Winnie Thank Cooper. Thank you so much. Peace. Thank you for joining us.